Hi everybody, Miss Leslie here. Um, I'm wondering if you remember what we've been talking about during these lessons that we're sending home in these videos. Um, we were talking about things that hatch from eggs. Those things are like things like chickens and turtles and snakes and snails spiders, they're oviparous. And you might be hearing a lot about beetles this week as well. Beetles also hatch from eggs, so they're oviparous. So I have a very beautiful book here that I'm going to share with you. The title is The Beetle Book, and it's by Steve Jenkins. Um, the illustrations in here are illustrations, but you can also find lots of cool videos about beetles, too, if you want to learn more about beetles and what they look like in real life. The Beetle Book by Steve Jenkins. So... It's important to know about beetles. Look at all the various beetles. Beetles are found in amazing range of shapes, sizes, and colors, but they all share the same basic design. How can that be? They look so different. Look at all of them. Some are brown, some are red, some are kind of a teal color. Some are long. Some are wide. Whoa, look how long that one is. Some have stripes. Some have spots and other designs. I wonder how they're the same. I think we're going to find out right now. <gasps> look at this. Something that is the same about all beetles is they have six legs. How many legs? Six legs. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six. They all have six legs. Amazing. They also all have three body parts. How many body parts? Three, that's right. They have a head, a thorax, and an abdomen. Wow. So that's their head, their middle, and the bottom of them. Oh, look. Do you know what's special about a beetle? They have jaws like we do. Your jaw goes open and close when you eat food and when you talk. But a beetle's jaws go like this, side to side. They're called mandibles. Can you say mandibles? Mandibles. That is how a beetle eats. You might learn more about that when Miss Brienne reads the grouchy ladybug to you. Oh, and speaking of which, what do beetles eat? Hmm, some are plant eaters, it says here. Some eat all the parts of a flower. Some eat bark, some eat the leaves, some eat the sap, some eat the pollen, like this one. Other beetles, they eat dung or animal droppings. Wow, they are the cleaners of the earth. Some, like this bull weevil, will suck the juice out of a cotton plant. And others, like the Colorado potato beetle, will eat the leaves and suck the juice out of leaves of potatoes and tomatoes. That's why they have this sort of pokey thing that they can suck up all the juice. It's almost like a straw. Oh, wow. 
Look at the mandibles of this beetle. Whoa, he is so strong with those razor sharp jaws or mandibles. Oh, I wanted to show you something else here. It was really neat. Let me find the right page. Where is it? Ladybug, ladybug. Where did you go? Hmm. I'm glad you guys are being so patient with me. Oh, this is about the life cycle of a beetle. So, a ladybug or a ladybird beetle starts out as, do you remember? A tiny egg on a leaf. And then it turns into a larva. A larva hatches out and then it eats and eats and grows and grows until it turns into a pupa. And then eventually the ladybird beetle or the ladybug breaks out of that pupa shell and then it goes and lays eggs on a leaf again. So that's a few things about beetles for you. I hope you learned something new today. Take care. See you next time.